are talking about the i it's kind of like a, we're talking about episode five today it's kind of like a part two to episode four um well, but is it really yeah it's it's labeled as episode five i was i always get confused now because of that episode skit but before that have you been watching anything since we last spoke i watched the first episode of the last of us oh okay I would have watched more, but I didn't think I needed to watch the next two episodes at like 930 at night. I didn't think that was good for my brain chemistry. That's a very good idea, especially since the second episode is a little creepy. And the first one was like extra long. It was like a movie, basically. So, yeah, but I really liked it. I thought it was really good. Oh, my gosh. It screamed out loud while I was watching it. (laughs) Which part did you scream out loud at? the, The neighbor old yeah. lady neighbor i was like screaming. she's like in her chair and <laughs> no after that okay yeah <laughs> did you okay do you know because they'll, they'll reveal it in a little bit but do you have an idea of how the infection is spreading at all no okay i mean it, the, no so they changed it from the game. I've played the game, and the game is just a downer. Hey, don't tell me. I'm not. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna tell you. But the game. I was thinking, like, how is this a video game? But like, yeah. Okay. So uh, the best way to describe it: How is this a video game? The you're trying to like evade, evade the fungus. Is that like the point, or you're trying to make like runs? Um. No, actually, you're playing the story. So that whole, you know, when his, I mean, did you, I mean, it's sad. It's very sad. Yeah, I watched. Yeah, so that whole sad. scene did with his. That? That's Tandy Newton's daughter. I did not know that. I'm a big Googler while I watch things. So that whole scene with his daughter is an, is the epilogue. And it's, oh um, you know, you're holding her and like you're, you're playing the daughter in the beginning. And, oh my you God. know, and then. When they get in the car and everything like that, you switch to Joel and you're like, Mm. you get in the crash and then you're finally carrying her and that whole thing happens. And then you play, you basically play Joel through the whole thing and you're, you know, there's some deviation in, in the fact that there's also a companion podcast. I highly recommend the companion podcast. Mm. It's very good. Um, Did you watch Chernobyl? No. Oh man. Oh, Danny. (laughs) Do I seem like I watched Chernobyl? It's really good. (laughs) It's by the same guy who did uh, Chernobyl, the show. Oh, man. It's a a limited series. I think you should watch Chernobyl. Did your mom watch Chernobyl? I doubt it. Oh, man. I'll find out. I think both of you really would like that show. Because, I mean, I'm a history nerd. But, yeah, it's fantastic. It's wonderful. Ask her. Please ask Patty. If she, because it's, oh, it's so good. But yeah, so the game is just, it's a bummer. I played it a couple of times and like, I don't want to play yeah. number part, like the second one, but I should, it's pretty, it's a few years old now. It's just, it's just, it's like emotionally draining. <laughs> so I don't want to, you know, why would I want to? Oh. Yeah. Um, I saw a couple of the sketches last night from that Pedro Pascal was doing on. I watched it. I oh, watched did it you? Today with my dad. Yeah. I I really like him. <laughs> Me too. Patty did not watch Chernobyl. Okay. Well, I recommend it if she if she was last night's for episode of Saturday Night Live was actually funny. <laughs> like I laughed at almost every sketch, which is not. Oh, that's great. Point. That's usually not the case, from what I understand. No. Wow. Coldplay had a nice little performance. I was shocked when I heard, found out that it was Coldplay. <laughs> I was like, "Whoa, we're still doing that, huh?" <laughs> yeah, they were cute though. I mean, they were they had they were good. Is he still married to Gwyneth Paltrow? No. No. Okay, I don't. I, I had this conversation with my dad this morning. Um, they've consciously uncoupled many oh, years ago. Okay. She's been married to someone else for five years. She's been married to the produce the Ryan Murphy's like producing partner who did like Glee, American yeah, Horror Story, yeah, yeah. all the all the Ryan Murphy, Brad Falchuk. Oh, he and he's Chris married Martin. To Brad Falchuk. Okay. Yeah, and Chris Martin has been dating Dakota Johnson for about the same amount of time. Oh, 
Well, good for them. Good for them on consciously uncoupling. Healthy. Um, yeah. Apple was in a Chanel show. Okay. I I like that your dad and I are on the same page about that. I had no clue. Yeah. He was like, his, first he said, who is he married to? Gwen Stefani? <laughs> ah! And I said, no. But he Heck knew yeah. he wasn't married. He knew that. Yeah. But, you know, it's, you know, it's close. Points for close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we talked about Gavin Rossdale and Bush. Oh, man. And that whole thing. Yeah, not a good guy, maybe, probably. Did you ever see the episode of Criminal Minds with Gavin Rossdale? I think I did. He played like uh, himself, but like also pretended to who someone who pretended to be a vampire. Yeah. And all his followers wanted to be like real vampires. He was also in that Keanu Reeves movie, Constantine, and playing like a demon. Oh. It was so good. Mm. I, I, that's a guilty pleasure movie right there. I don't think I've seen it. You might like it. It's I might. Uh Constantine's very fun. <laughs> and I like Keanu Reeves, so you oh you do. Okay. Are you I do. <laughs> have you watched any of the John Wick movies? I'm going no. on yeah, I, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> um <laughs> halfway through that <laughs> Did question. You watch, have you watched um the Always Be My Maybe, the Ali Wong movie? Yes. I loved Always Be My Maybe. He is Keanu Reeves is very funny. In that. Yeah, he's he seems like a, a very in the know guy about his himself. Yeah, he's in on the joke. Yeah. Okay, we're let's we got to get into this episode because <laughs> within the first like ten minutes, I I started just typing away on my notes. <laughs> so we left off with Cat supposedly taking something or do or drinking. Everyone mm-hmm. thinks. When after the uh, Adrian's really good friend Simon, who's the charter guest, uh, started yeah. being super gross to her, I, I man, I don't know how they just didn't be like, all right, Captain Lee, let's kick these guys. But they wanted their tip. They don't want to go to. <laughs> they don't want to go to two charters without a tip. I know. I can't believe this is only the second charter. Yeah. Okay, so it begins with what Adrian talking with Cat in Cat's room, I believe, right? Or that's yes. So Ben kind of gives yeah get... Adrian the lowdown that Cat's not being out of line. Like these guys are really inappropriate and chauvinistic and kind of disgusting pigs. Um, I wrote, "I love Ben." Yeah. Like he was a, he was great in that moment, and <laughs> he totally, yeah, then yeah. Adrian goes to confront Kat in her room because Ben has basically sent Kat down. Like, yeah. Kat, you may not be with these people anymore. You need to go to your room. Yeah. And I found Adrian during this whole conversation to be like very insufferable, very insufferable, very off-putting. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, well, Kat probably will not listen to anything she says from this point on. Right. So Simon doesn't pull that shit on me. Well, my Google Home is like answering us. Oh heck yeah! It's telling me about cats. <laughs> okay, it stopped. Thank you, Google Home. <laughs> it is talking about. I didn't even summon it. It's talking about like the domestic short hair. Okay, go on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, you're good. Um, you know, and like her talking heads are so off-putting as well. Like he's a great guy, and yeah, he can be inappropriate, but that's why I love him. And it's like, ugh, what? He was really disgusting, and he was using like vile language, yeah. basically sexually harassing. One hundred percent. I kind of looked at what people thought about that online on the subreddit, mm-hmm. and they all agreed that she was a little over the line on this. But apparently Adrian posts on that subreddit quite frequently, and it's fascinating um, seeing people who, like, are really big Adrian defenders on there. I guess Adrian can only go off of what she sees, and if she hasn't seen, like, that kind of behavior from him before, but Ben should have been enough. Like, she and Ben are basically, I think they're equals on a boat. He might be, I mean, it. They're both heads of department, so. Well, I mean, going by how he, like, talks to her when he's, like, giving her a hug goodbye, I, you know. Oh, yeah. Simon was really gross Yeah, to just super gross. And. Adrian liked it for some reason. She had a big smile on her face. <laughs> yeah, she's. She. Yeah, I don't know. 
so they're dealing with that and then sam i i i have a really hard time with sam did you know she was a rocket scientist? Did you know that? I mean, I wrote cut down that she designed something for Ares One, and I was like, "Oh, that's actually really cool." <laughs> it is actually cool, but she comes. She, it's like ugh, she's just so arrogant. Yeah, she, and also she's a third stew. Like she's literally the bottom of the totem pole. Sorry, this is your job, and yeah, like we've all had. <laughs> demeaning jobs before and my job came what was your demeaning job <laughs> most demeaning job working, working security at the orange county fair <laughs> <laughs> and dealing with like all kinds of drunk people i had a drunk person um ride his bike through my lot and which which my job at security was guarding a parking lot so he was riding his bike and he was so drunk he had passed out on his bike leaned up against a chain link fence and so i had to like call it's just and then he just ended up like oh later and like i was like oh well i hope that guy doesn't die and like crash his bike hope he did not but yeah the that whole experience was not was suboptimal because (laughs) during training the boss was like you know quickest way for everyone to get fired is if you talk about your pay and i'm like come on like what do we do? Oh, well, yeah, you know. Okay. And it was all I was working with either all young kids or all ex cops. There was nobody like Ew. in between, and it was just like, well, this is <laughs> this is not what I want. Uh, so Sam was making comments throughout the whole episode of whether Adrian's boyfriend was real or not. Yeah, and <laughs> I don't know. I found that kind of mean. It was mean. I mean, it was mean. She just is picking at anything she can. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, this whole... She'll, she's getting her digs in, and that's... I just can't stand Sam's smirk. Like... One of my... My favorite thing that Sam said on this episode was that Simon was a douchebag, Adrian was a scumbag, and together they are a bag yeah. of scummy douche. Yeah. <laughs> I... I, I also wrote that down. I don't think she Adrian is a scumbag. I think I don't either. She's just a tough ass boss. Yeah. Clearly, I don't mean that in a good way. Like I don't want her to be my boss, but it really seems like this is her first time ever managing people. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't know how to do that. This happens a lot on Below Deck, is like that the stew the stew chief the number two and three seem to think that like the chief isn't doing the amount of work that they're doing. Mm -hmm. And it comes up a lot that number one, I have earned this position to not have to do all of the crap you're doing. And also that they're doing so much stuff that they don't even know they're doing. (laughs) Like the chiefs are like they're provisioning and they're, Making and studying preference sheets, you know, and they're like making sure everyone else on the bo- boat knows, like, I mean, what's going to go down. Your job as a manager and or as a middle manager or chief stew or whatever is to make sure everybody is handling their shit. Yeah, you can still do some work, but I think like Sam seems to think Adrian is their equal, and she's not. Yeah, definitely not. Well, I mean, Sam, if it was up to Sam, nobody is her equal because she went to college and she could do trig and solve rockets. Solve rockets. <laughs> I di- so after after the the charter, they're all saying their goodbyes. Simon is very says very inappropriate things about Adrian's boobs. <laughs> And then the guy, the picky eater guy is like, oh, yeah, make sure if you're in Jersey, look me up. And I'm like, oh, my God. Um, (laughs) And then Adrian has like a sit down with Kat and Sam. And it does not go well. It's basically just a seated version of every conversation they have all the time, which is you need to do more work. And then Sam says, why don't you do more work? Yeah. It, and Adrian says, I'm your boss. That's, those are like, they've said that, I want to say, three times every episode. Yeah. Oh, we we kind of glazed over the, the whole existential crisis that Adrian has 
throughout the episode and in the beginning when she was talking on her talking head about I'm going to have to turn Kat into Lee. She's obviously doing something, taking pills or drinking. And she talks to Kat about it in her cabin. And she's like, exactly. really? She was not drinking. Yeah. And she's being very unfair to Kat, I think. And like, oh, just don't let him say that stuff to you. Oh, you're a capable woman. And I was just like. <laughs> very victim shaming yeah, and I, was like, I don't know what to do with my hands like i don't like this is very uncomfortable this is, yeah like oh <laughs> so um after the you know after the three-way conversation captain sits everybody down and gives everybody their tip and everybody's hyped because they're like okay this was adrian's friend he's got money we went above and beyond because he was adrian's mm-hmm. friend and he gives them a really shitty tip yeah uh the charter before gave them 15 grand um collectively so it but simon gave everybody 10 grand as a tip and which they have to split they each got about like 900 dollars. yeah 900 each and adrian just i don't know why they're so they're complaining so much they this is a normal tip and everyone's like this is not a normal tip no. I, oh my god. Can you imagine having to deal with those people and then like put away their clothes and steam <laughs> take steam all the their t- filthy garments? Uh I don't eat this stuff. Give me ketchup and lobster, please. Ick. <laughs> and then Oh man. So that sucks. Yeah. And I just kept writing some version of Sam is so annoying over and over and over. Yeah. What did you think about all of Sam and, uh, Sam and CJ's early conversation in their bunk where, much like the previous weeks, um, CJ is telling Sam how much he likes her and Sam is saying, I still don't like you. Like that. And he said the weirdest thing. He said, so would I make weird. a good boyfriend? Yeah. And she said the right answer. You would, would to, to someone. Somebody. Amazing. And all I was thinking was, you have a girlfriend. Yeah. So what kind of a question is that? I, I like, wouldn't she watch this? Wouldn't his girlfriend watch this and be like, "You're, you're a bag of scummy douche." Like I was just about to say, Adrian is not a scumbag. CJ <laughs> is the scumbag. <laughs> um, I, I could not believe it was very like trigger warning word, like date rapist vibe, like. Yeah. You're telling me you don't like me, but I feel like you do. Yeah. You it's very say no, but you say yes, like thick. It like goes beyond gaslighting. I don't think gaslighting is an, a, a strong enough word for it. It's just creepy. Yeah, it's very it's creepy. Like He's like, oh, you're not even looking at me. Uh and she's like, What are you what do you want? And then she, that she has to like sp- spend she has to sleep next, like in the same room as this dude. Yeah, I would ask to change bunks. Yeah, I'd be like, "Hey, Lee," and I guarantee you, if she was like, "Hey, Lee," he'd be like, "Yeah, no problem. Don't even worry. I will kick this dude yeah. off." Well, also, I think like Cat doesn't want a room with with Adrian, so Adrian and CJ should just room together. Yeah, for sure. Gosh, and CJ is just such a group. Like, just a <sighs> he. <sighs> He just kept saying stuff that was like, oh, I really care about you. Uh, like, wh- how long have you known this person? <laughs> like, you're just saying these things to manipulate her. Like, wh- And she's not falling for it because she's a rocket scientist guy. Because she solves rockets. She is not falling for <laughs> these lines. And he's so gross and greasy. Yeah. I Truly. literally wrote CJ makes me sick. I was like, he is just so sickening to me. How did, he always has his shirt off. Always. Always. Constantly. I did notice his tat his tattoo today <laughs> or on this episode. It's like dog tags woven into his skin. Yes. I'd love to know more about it. I he but does I not I do not picture him in an armed forces. No, not at all. Setting? Not at all um so <laughs> that <laughs> rules so no yeah. hates rules so uh so then a oh man 
Adrian goes to Cat and is like, listen, either I'm going to Lee or you got to talk to Captain because this whole thing cannot, blah, blah, blah. So poor Lee. Lee Lee. just wants to watch his stories, hang out (laughs) with a, with a bottle of Merlot. (laughs) No, he just, he just wants to watch some VHS tapes of whatever. And he's got to deal with this bullshit. And, you know, Adrian's there and Kat, it comes out that Kat has anxiety issues. She took an anxiety pill, yada, yada, yada. And, you know what? Do you believe her? No. I mean, (laughs) okay. (laughs) Maybe. I don't know. Who am I? I'm not a doctor. I wish, I mean, I wish. You know, I, I believe. I mean. As like pretending I'm a first time viewer, I believe her. Yes, yes. As a, I, uh, yeah, I get. I have no reason not to. She basically, says she doubled her anxiety medication because mm-hmm. she was feeling anxious and it made her loopy. Yes, and that is, yes, I believe that. And Lee believes her. Mm-hmm. And he was appropriately like, "All right, give me the dosage, give me everything like that, like make sure it doesn't happen again." And then Adrian just keeps steering it towards, well, you lied to me. I, I just don't, I, I don't, you know, aren't we going to fire her? Kat like, basically. Herself, yeah. Kat handled herself wet, well and she was like, I was embarrassed. I was uncomfortable. Like straight up in front of your, the boss of your boss, you make me uncomfortable and I don't trust you. Yeah. She didn't say that, but that was like what she alluded to, I felt. It, I feel really, I feel really bad for Kat. She was put in this situation, and Lee Lee handled it again like a complete boss because yes. he's amazing. I wrote down Lee absolutely does not want to be talking about this. Dude just wants to watch <laughs> his stories and be done. Because well, it's uncomfortable to be talking to like a young girl about mm-hmm. someone like harassing her. Yeah, <laughs> but he just completely shut down Adrian's stuff. He's just like no. No, I'm not going to go down that road. That's way too much paperwork for Captain Lee. (laughs) Come on. And then he's like, oh, you guys got a night off. You guys get to go to the bar soon. And it was like, yeah. Kat said something so funny. She was like, I wasn't going to go out. And then I saw that everyone was going out. And I (laughs) couldn't let the party continue without my presence. Sure. Yeah. (laughs) Rhode Island. The Rhode Island came (laughs) out. Yeah. So they go out. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> both, like so skeeved out. And CJ, I was squirming. Yeah, squirming. it was t- it was a tough watch. I watched it again to just make sure my note, you know, double check I'm my sure notes. Sure, you vomited and enough. And I was just like, "This is I, I." I was like, very, very uncomfortable with just like, "Oh, hey, Rumi. Oh, hey, this." And then Sam was just trying to talk to anyone. But CJ. Yeah. And of course, guys are going to approach her. She's a beautiful rocket scientist. Yes. She, I mean, I'm sure whenever guys come up to her and like, oh, hey, can I buy you a drink? I saw rockets. Buy me a drink. (laughs) Did you know that I did? (laughs) Oh, cool. (laughs) Yeah. And he just would not stop. Like, he. He's the type of like creepy guy to like lean in and like touch your lower back when it is not wanted. Um, what were you gonna say? What was your last thing that I was gonna say that Alex seems like a good boss and a nice guy. He was mm-hmm. like talking about his philosophy of like being a boss and teaching people how to do it so that you don't have to micromanage them. And he just seemed nice. And then he was like putting Sam's like micro whatever you call it, uh, like radio on for her, and yeah. it's just like Seems like a nice, gentle guy. He took, he helped Cat off the bar. He seems sweet this episode. He seems good. Still, still button heads with Lee. But so I read something about Alex is that the owner of the the yacht, they were supposed, it was supposed to be Alex this first season. The owner was like, uh, no, this guy. He was supposed to be the captain. Yeah, yeah. He was supposed to be the captain. Alex was, and the owner was like, uh, no, this kid is like 19. Absolutely not. (laughs) And then they got Captain Lee. How old is he? Young, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that was uh, 
I did not watch the see- the scenes for next for next time. Mm. Um, that was episode five. You'll be surprised. Oh man, CJ's the worst. I just need him to get a haircut. <laughs> He needs to have like a shower and a shave shower (laughs) of his personality. Oh yeah, he needs a fungal infection to reach him quickly. (laughs) Has not already. Yeah, he needs to get some cordyceps in his his brain. All right. Well, thank you for listening, and see you next time. We talk about what episode "Sleeping with the Enemy" is the next episode. This episode was. forgot to say it this episode was called i'm living with the devil and i that's gotta mean to me that means that's a direct cat quote yeah, i think that means <laughs> see it works on multiple levels we'll put it that way but thanks for listening i'll catch you guys later mm-hmm.